Hello everyone, in this uh, episode I'm going to be talking about Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. This is an extremely fun game to play, awesome action. The soundtrack is batshit crazy, I mean it's just a uh, hoot to play. Very violent, very crazy, uh, sound, you know, it's just crazy man. Uh, I kind of wish there was more of a story in this one, but what there is, it's pretty good. The script is actually pretty uh, pretty cool and pretty fun. This is definitely a less serious Metal Gear game, but it's got some crazy shit in it. The main character is Raiden, who is, you know, basically taking, uh, taking over from uh, Solid Snake and uh, is now the world's leading badass. Then the game takes place in 2018, so this is four years after uh, Metal Gear Solid 4. And uh, the world's calmed down a good bit, but uh, there's a lot more like uh, cybernetics and stuff going on, so a lot of cyborgs and shit. So that's uh, pretty crazy, pretty cool. Uh, the game's got some really cool boss fights. It's very, it was a very tricky game for me. I think it would be an easier game for somebody like Chili who's played like uh, Dark Souls out the ass. So, um, but for me, it was kind of tricky figuring out how to like uh, block and uh, repousse and stuff and uh, stuff like that. So it took me a little while to figure out, but it was definitely an awesome experience. I think it was a lot of criticism from uh, kind of the old school Metal Gear fans talking about the soundtrack being a little too different from the original soundtrack. But I'm like, guys, look at the fucking gameplay. You got to have a crazy ass soundtrack in this. So, yeah, soundtrack's definitely awesome. Boss fights are crazy, like I said. Um, it's just a really cool game. And uh, you get to see some characters from uh, the other Metal Gear games. They kind of have cameos in this. And I definitely hope uh, they can do another... Metal Gear Rising game one of these days. So uh, I think the company that made it, God, what are they called? S Platinum Games or whatever. They're the guys that made um, Bayonetta and um, Vanquish. Yeah, Vanquish I loved a lot. I never got to play Bayonetta though, but Vanquish was pretty awesome. And uh, this game's a lot like uh, Vanquish, but uh, instead of using guns, you use basically high frequency swords. So. <laughs> Yeah, basically a high frequency sword is a sword with um, a sonic emitter that vibrates the sword so fast that it heats it up to like a couple of thousand degrees. So it basically melts as it cuts through stuff. So it basically cuts through anything and everything. So that's pretty fun to use. And in fact, you can basically chop up anything in the game you want. There's a car over there. Go chop it up. If it's a watermelon, go chop that up. I mean, it's very... Very fun, very fun. Uh, unfortunately, I only got to do one go through on it before my PS3 crapped out, so I haven't really been able to play it since. Uh, I guess the game came out in 2013, so I haven't really been able to play it since then, unfortunately. But uh, if I ever, uh, if I ever buy another PS3 or if they port it over to the 4, I'll definitely uh, hop back on there. So. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's all the Metal Gear games I've played so far. I haven't gotten around to doing Ground Zeroes. And uh, hopefully I can get the Phantom Pain. So, uh, yeah, I'm just kind of broke right now. But as soon as I can, I'm going to get a PlayStation 4 and I'm going to get Ground Zeroes and uh, the Phantom Pain and finish up the Metal Gear series. So, uh, rock on, people.